Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're now in chapter 12 of the Gospel of Luke. Let's look at those first three verses. In the meantime, when an innumerable multitude of people had gathered together so that they trampled one another, he, Jesus, he began to say to his disciples, first of all, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have spoken in the ear in inner rooms will be proclaimed in the housetops. So hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is one of the biggest arguments uh, against Christianity, right? Well, I don't want to be part of the church. There's hypocrites in the church. Well, guess what? There's a lot of hypocrites that are not even in the church. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 1 that all people know there's a God. It's been revealed to every everybody. And so to say that, well, yeah, I'm going to keep out of that. I'm not going to make any big claims. Guess what? The, it, the truth is that we all know there's a God. We all know there's a moral accountability. We all know there's a right and wrong and, and that there's a God in heaven, a personal God. And so guess what? You know, the problem is just that if we don't acknowledge that, then we're all hypocrites. So basically, Jesus is in the business of saving hypocrites. He's bringing us back. So let's give up on that ridiculous thing about the church. At least in the church, you've got some people who are seeking to come close to him. But people in the world who know he's there and they're just ignoring it, that's the ultimate in hypocrisy. Here we have Jesus saying, you know, you guys are, are talking in quiet uh, but everything that's talked about in the back rooms, in the quiet, it's all going to come out. You know, what, what's happened in the last three years in, in, our, in our world? Uh, there's many questions about how this began or how that happened or what's being done. You know what? Uh, there, we're all going to know. It's all going to become very clear who was on the right side, who was on the wrong side. It's all going to become very clear who did wrong and repented and who did wrong and did not repent and who sought to do right by the power of God sought to do right. So friends, yes, there were his hypocrisy, but we're looking to have that part of us changed. We're looking to become true followers of Jesus. What a blessing, what a blessed opportunity is ours. So friends, let us seek the Lord God. Let's pray right now. Dear Father in heaven, Yes, Jesus is quite aware. We're all quite aware there are hypocrites out there. We ourselves have all played the role of the hypocrite. But now, Lord, we turn to you. We want to be right. Change my heart. Change my approach. Help me to be true, to seek out your insight and follow your insight. Lord, this is what we ask for in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friends, watch out for hypocrisy. And guess what? We're all guilty of it. And we're even more guilty if we're not finding a local congregation of serious believers that we can join ourselves to and become spiritually accountable as they and us, as we all are seeking to follow the pathway of Jesus. May Jesus' blessings be upon you this day.